Can you talk about The Crystal Crypt? Sure. Um, it's one of Philip K. Dick's short stories, and much like many of them, it takes place in this sci-fi world where you have human birthlings and you have Martians, and it's there's this war going on between the two. And in a way, as the observer, it's not just the Earthlings that are good and the Martians that are bad or vice versa. You sort of have to let the story unfold to see that we're both sides. So we are the Martians, but we are the Earthlings. And it's sort of, you sort of have to, to look at that and finish the story and, and realize what has happened by the sort of inter because it's an interrogation story. So through the course of the interrogation, you realize that we are both, both of them. And I think that's exciting. I mean, to me, that's sort of what I got from it. So what's your character in this short film? Sure. Well, she's the female of the, of the group. And um, these earthlings, in an effort to sort of thwart the war that's happening, they go and they uh, do an act of vandalism, malice, terror. I don't know exactly what it would classify as, but through the interrogation, they don't believe they have because they've kept the whole... Am I giving too much away? The whole city as is. Um, but the whole idea of, well, I don't know if I want to give it away. Uh, I guess people have read the story, so it's fine. Um, the crystal crypt in and of itself is the whole major city that's been shrunken down into basically the size of like a paperweight. So it's a crystal that is the crypt for the people that are in the city. And so these people, have, these three, have gone in and sabotaged the city and shrunk it down. And so she's one of the saboteurs. But maybe she's doing good, maybe she's doing bad. Who knows? Can you talk about the directors behind this short film? Sure. Well, I only recently met Shahab um, and his brother. I've been more in contact with Shahab than his brother. Um, but they're writers and they're directors and producers on their own right. And uh, we had been back and forth on Twitter and Facebook and social media. And he reached out to me and said, hey, would you be interested in doing a film if I can make it happen? And I was like, well, I love science fiction. I love any kind of other world or other reality. So I'm in. And I also was aware already of Philip K. Dick and his stories. And so I was like, this sounds amazing. And so we just sort of kept in touch over, over time. And then he reached out to me and he said, would you be interested? And I was like, I would love to have the opportunity to work on that, have an opportunity to work with you. It's, it's a no-brainer, win-win. What are your thoughts on what Kickstarter has opened up for Hollywood? Well, I think all crowdsourcing and crowdfunding has really, for Hollywood, for the entertainment industry, for music, I mean, even if you look at what Amanda Palmer was able to do with her album, I mean, raising a million dollars or more, um, I think Kickstarter and Indiegogo and those crowdsourcing or world sourcing, as I like to call it, um, because anyone can sort of participate. It's it's allowing people, fans, um, people that are passionate about something, to be able to connect to people that they may not have had access to before. I mean, it's part of what social media is doing, is we're sort of opening up the globe and being able to say, hey, I'm passionate about this, I have this idea. You, two people, three people, five people in my circle may not care about it, but there might be somebody 10 doors down that I don't know exists that is passionate about it. And so what I think is so exciting is it's putting those people in each other's hands. Like it's it's making that space accessible and it's it's shortening things so that we can actually make stuff happen. And I think that's so powerful and so amazing that not only do those people want to make things happen, but the people that want to make things happen have now access to people that are excited about it and passionate about it. Why do you think gamers will like Crystal Crypt? You know, that's interesting. In a way, it's like being in a really good video game. Um, because through the course of the interrogation, you, you are asking questions in your mind and you're sort of figuring out what, you know, like what, what would you do? What's happening? What's going on? And I think that's part of the gaming experience. I mean, if you're doing a first person shooter, you're doing a first person shooter. If you're just playing through an investigative sort of game, whatever. But it's, it's the idea that you're sort of participating in that other world for a while. And I think that's what gamers are really going to love the visuals, the, the storyline, the, the juiciness of it. So, Tara. What was it like working on the call? Well, fancy you guys asked me that. Uh, I would never have imagined you'd ask. Um, uh, it was great. It was really amazing. Um, I was so honored to get to work with Halle Berry, and she's fantastic. And it was really very inspirational to be on set with her and just be able to watch her work as an actor, but then to also be able to work opposite her and work with her is, is a dream come true because, you know, there's people that you... 
as an actor, you respect or you've watched their work or you've, you know, observed their careers and the ebbs and flows of things. And, and to be able to be working off of someone like that and learning from them as you're doing your work, I mean, what an amazing gift. So I, I, had, I had the best time. And I love Brad Anderson, the director. He's brilliant. And the other actors on board were all phenomenal and delightful. So I'm really excited. And it's scary. It's such a scary movie. I'm not good at watching thrillers. And it's so scary. 